the, the program that excites me the most that we're going to conduct uh, on board the ship is the program uh, for the fifth and sixth grade public school students that we're working on. Um, it will be a very difficult program uh, for us to achieve what my dream is for it, but ultimately I'd like for every student that goes through the public school system to be exposed to the spirit of South Carolina in one fashion or another. In January of 2007, South Carolina K-12 educators meet at dawn at the Charleston Maritime Center to board the educational sailing vessel westward for a four-day voyage to Miami. But this is no pleasure cruise. The educators from ETV, Clemson University, the State Department of Education, Ashley Hall School, and the Department of Juvenile Justice are aboard westward to play the roles of students and to discover firsthand the compelling power of learning under sail. In weather so calm that westward must operate under diesel engine power, the educators form watches. For the next four days, they will become increasingly responsible for running the ship 24 hours a day in fair weather and foul. Between watches, educator sailors eat meals with their watch in the salon, attend classes in navigation, ocean science, and seamanship, or catch a couple of hours of much needed sleep in their berths. These box-like, three-foot by six-foot bunks hold each traveler's personal belongings and become the only real estate aboard that each sailor can call his or her own. As winds build and seas mount, the duties of manning watch stations become ever more difficult, and yet, no one aboard shirks his or her duties to ship or shipmates. Educators come to understand how quickly shipboard life on the open water focuses the students' learning faculties and draws forth a sense of discipline. As much a part of Westward as each educator becomes, their minds are on another ship, one still being built and fitted out back in Charleston. Each of them is there to share in developing curricula and programs that will use the pilot schooner Spirit of South Carolina as both a classroom and a textbook. For our purposes, it is an education platform, a living piece of history that we will turn into an experiential education platform that will enable uh, people from South Carolina, especially the students of South Carolina, to get out there and really experience uh, what it's like to be on the water, on a boat, uh, in a historical context, but also really explore the, uh, the sciences and the history and the culture and how they all tie together in this unique setting. The way that we're designing our curriculum is we're working alongside um, the State Department of Education, ETV, and their website, knowitall.org, to develop our programs and our curriculum that will follow these standards and give teachers um, outside activities that will go along with the standards that they need to teach in their classroom. In addition to the day sail activities aboard ship, ETV is developing innovative curriculum standards-based simulations, interactives, and assessment tools as part of the Pirates, Plankton, and Pelicans website, part of ETV's award-winning knowitall.org K-12 educational web portal. The final sunrise of the voyage finds westward in tropical waters off South Florida. The excitement of sighting land after a stormy night at sea is tempered by the realization that the adventure all have shared or at least the first chapter in that adventure, is nearly over. But each educator aboard leaves the ship excited as never before with the prospects offered by the spirit of South Carolina and with a resolve to find ways to make that adventure and the powerful learning tool it represents accessible to students from across the Palmetto State.